is going on today everybody it's your boy rhino here coming at you from his home so i wanted to talk to you guys real quick and today's gonna be a little bit of a different video because i am actually going to be making my atlas stone for my 175 pound atlas stone and i got everything kind of set up don't worry about the mess in my backyard but i got my concrete there's more bags over there got my bin got my shovel and right over here i dug a little hole to where I put down my atlas stone mold and that's where it's going to be setting. So I have a 250 pound one, but I want a lighter one just so that I can practice for my uh, technique and everything. So let's go ahead and get this going. So the thing is, I actually have two types of concrete. I have this extra strength one right here, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of some crack resistant one. So with the combination of the two, it should be a very good option. Now we have the concrete in there, so let's go ahead and add some water and mix everything up. Okay, so we have the first bag of cement mixed. Now we're gonna go ahead and go put it in my mold. I don't really have a funnel or anything, so I'm just mainly gonna be scooping little bits at a time. That also helps set it to where all the bubbles and all the water can rise and get out of it a lot easier instead of just dumping a huge amount in there and having to bang on the side of it the entire time. So let's get to it. Alright, so I'm all cleaned up, I'm showered, and I cleaned up my mess out here. So overall, the Atlas Stone was a success. I got the concrete mixture correct, and it is currently over there. It is drying, it's going to take three days for it to dry in the mold. Then I'm going to break it out of the mold, turn it over, and it's going to take three days to dry out of the mold. So it's 175 pounds, it'd be good to work with my um, ability to with the technique and everything. So I have my bigger one that is over on the other side of my yard, but that one's 250 pounds. I just need something smaller for my technique. But so I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment of this video. Well, let's get to the workout. Okay, so we're gonna be heading to the gym right now and I'm gonna be having a lot of fun today with some leg day regimens, such as like squats and carries and stuff. So I'm thinking that you guys will enjoy today. All right, here we go.
So, I've kind of already started this workout, but I'm currently doing a Husserl Stone for my front carry today. I did my front squats already, so you guys saw that. So, let's go ahead and show you guys the rest of this workout. So another shout out to Valley's Gym over here for allowing me to come here and work out with my strongman stuff. A really big shout out to everybody. I really love everybody here. So, and just remember to hydrate everybody. Anyway, so my next uh, workout is after I was done with my Husserl Stone, I'm gonna go to uh, stand-ups. I'm gonna use the, be using the SSB bar and I'm gonna go and get some good shots with that. So let's get to it. So, just want to thank everybody for a wonderful time. I've been working my ass off, trying to get this competition underway, trying to get my strength up, trying to get my conditioning up, everything that you can think of. So, I love you guys. This is Rhino. I need you to like, I need you to comment, I need you to subscribe, and I need you to ring that bell for notifications and share this. Share this with anybody that you can. Share it to Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, any kind of social media that you can to get some subscribers. Because you guys are the reason why I'm doing this, and I'm the reason why I'm working out. So, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you guys. This is Rhino. I'll catch you later. Woo!